Let us welcome a spoken word special presentation from the Lighthouse Creative Team. It is finished. Three powerful words that change the landscape of humanity. Three last words before Jesus ascended to glory. Three defining words that crushed the powers of the enemy. It is finished. As Jesus walked on the way to Calvary, He was thinking of you and me. He endured the scourging, slashing and spitting. He went through all the pain and suffering. The people who shouted, Hosanna! Now hated Him. The disciples who promised loyalty now left Him. Jesus bled and died for our sins and immorality. Sacrificed His very life to free us from captivity. He was nailed to the cross to redeem us who were lost. It is finished. It was a cry of victory from every pride and self-sufficiency, for every bondage of the enemy, from every depression and anxiety, for every curse and human depravity. But He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. But the punishment that brought us peace was on Him. And by His wounds, we are healed. It is finished. As Jesus breathed His last, the earth shook and heaven gasped. Rented the tomb in three days. Jesus overcame and defeated death on the face. And on the third day, the stone was rolled away. Jesus rose from the grave. The darling of heaven, the King of kings has risen. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? Why do you look for the living among the dead? Our God is not dead. Our King Jesus is alive. Jesus is reaching out to you and me. Repent and receive the gift of eternity. There is salvation, freedom, peace, and security. Run to the recent one. Jesus Christ, the perfect Son, the one who was and is and yet to come, paid her dead in full and said, It is done. Sin does not have the final word. The powers of hell have no hold. Jesus defeated death and grave. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Thanks be to God. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He is risen. Rather, it begins with His resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me will live even if he dies. Friends, resurrection is not an event. He is a person and His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus, you are our living hope. Jesus Christ, our living hope. He, he 
is risen, He is alive. Jesus Christ is our living and victorious Savior. He rose from the dead so that we have victory over sin, curse, and death. His resurrection gives us great joy, hope, and victory. Let us rejoice and be blessed through the ministry of God's Word, through Lighthouse Senior Pastor, the man of God, Pastor Lathur Badoy. Come on, let God's people rise and praise the Lord. God, we clap our hands to you. We shout to your glorious, victorious name. You are awesome. You are great. There is no one like you. Dalai gun ka o Dios. Dalai gun ka sa walay katapusan. We give you praise, God. Wala ang katulad, Panginoon. Karapat dapat kang sambahin. We give you praise, Lord, for you are so deserving, oh God. We give you glory today. Salamat, Lord God. Thank you for your sweet, loving powerful presence lord we welcome you today we want to honor you oh god your presence lord we open our hearts oh god and we say have your way gawin mo po pinapatihit pa din tulutan ka namin panginoon gawin ang gusto mo have your way god lord touch our lives today bring us to the center of your will and give us the power to live the rest of our lives Doing your will. Salamat, Lord. We give you honor, glory, and praise in the name of Jesus. And everyone would say, Amen and Amen. You may be seated. God is so very good. Magana araw sa lahat. Those joining us online, welcome. May the Lord touch you and bless your lives as well as we worship the Lord together. Alin yung po na pahaganda ng story ng resurrection? Because in the natural realm, in the normal realm of life, Wala nang kalaban na mas matapang at mas makapangyarihan na ng kamatayan. Amen? Malugi ka sa negosyo, pwede ka makabangon. Magsakit ka, bisang mo ng doktor, stage 3 cancer, stage 4 cancer. Pwede pa nag ang mga story na confirmed stories na nakabawi, na heal sila. Alright? There are families na nabungkag, nagyud kayo, pero by the grace of God, nagkabalik pa. Amen? And so we have all of these stories. I remember someone uh, counseling someone uh, and then naghiwalay na sila, nagtry siya mag-suicide, na das labas ang ABS-CBN, maglundag na siya para mamatay, na news talaga siya, nagkaroon na ng pamilya, ang husband niya somewhere, pero by the grace of God, after years and years, nagkabalikan sila, I tell you, walang imposible kay Lord. Pero pagdating sa kamatayan, usually ang sabi ng tao, ah, uh, Yung iba, napay, napay solusyon ang, ang, ang uh, kawadon, poverty, ang sakit, ang pamilya ng anak. Pero pagpatay na, patay na. Kaya pag may namamatay na na mahal na mahal natin, naiiyak tayo, di ba? Bakit? Kasi ending na yun eh. Talagang babay na, wala na, tapos na talaga. It's the end. The greatest enemy is death. But, let's say but. But the Lord Jesus defeat, defeated sin and death, the curse, Satan and demons to give you and me victory. Amen? And lest we, we run short of time and we fail to emphasize, let me do it now. Kahit na ano pong mga imposible sa buhay natin, kahit ano pong mga uh, parang mga bagay na sobrang giants sa buhay natin na ay solusyon sa ginoong Jesus, pinaagi sa iyang, uh, iyang resurrection, pagkabaan o pagkikan sa kamatayon, na kita'y paglaom. Amen? Some of you, you're here and you're hiding a depression. Only a very few people know it. Some of you are here, you're suffering with addictions. Grabbing addiction, di ka makawala o wala, etc. So we are here, bungka kay mong pamilya. You, you feel so so broken hurting because of what happened with the family. Iba-ibang problema, pero I want to say to you, kung yung kalaban na pinakamakapangyarihan na talo ni Jesus, ay eh yung less powerful, kaya niya yan. Amen? Why yun makatabi mo, kaya ni Lord yan. Amen? God can do it. Jesus can do it. He has already declared it. By the way, para sa mga pilosopo, okay, sabi hindi ito to na resurrect si Jesus, it is one of the most validated facts of history. In fact, merong dati, dati siya, I think, academic dean ng Harvard Law School. He wrote an entire book to show that from a legal intellectual point of view, there is absolutely no doubt that Jesus rose from the dead. Amen? We have a living Savior. We have a living Lord. And kung ano man yung problema natin, kaya ni Lord yan. I know some of you are saying, 
Matagal na ito, pastor. <laughs> hindi ito bago. Lubog na lubog na ako sa ganitong klaseng depression, ganitong klaseng abusive relationship, ganitong klaseng poverty, ganitong klaseng sirang pamilya, ganitong, ganitong klaseng you know, bulok na bulok na ako, pastor. Wala na ako pag-asa. Sabi ni Lord, sabi ni Jesus, because of the resurrection, may pag-asa ka pa. Amen. Pero masabihin ng katabi mo, sa Manirio, may pag-asa ka pa. And I'm speaking faith to you, okay? I'm speaking faith to you. I'm speaking faith to you. Some of you are saying, Lord, tanggap ko na yan. Ganito lang talaga ako. Ganyan talaga yung asawa ko. Ganyan talaga yung anak ko. Siguro wala talaga akong pag... Hindi siguro talaga ako negosyante, palpak talaga. Hindi siguro talaga ako life group leader. Wala talaga akong fruits, etc. Marami tayong mga ganun. But I tell you, by the grace and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and through His resurrection, He made everything possible. He made victory possible possible because he died and rose again. Amen. Yung kamatayan niya it 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 paid for our sins in resurrection niya. It proved that he is victorious and supreme over every power here on earth. Lahat ng demonyo, lahat ng sakit kaya niyang gamutin. Now, some of you are saying, well, hindi naman lahat gumagaling, di ba? Hindi naman lahat nakakabawi financially, hindi naman lahat nababalik ng pamilya. Tama. Tama yan, we know that. Okay, but it is possible. Nahangyari sa iba, therefore, pwede rin mangyari sa iba. Because God, the Bible says, does not show favoritism. Ibig sabihin, kung anong ginawa nila sa iba, pwede niyang gawin sa iyo. Amen. And even the things, some of the things na hindi mababago in the sight of eternity, pwede mabago when Jesus Christ comes to establish His perfect kingdom. Amen. Salvation has a present uh, experience for us, enjoyment, but the fullness of it, say fullness, will be for the future. This world is not our home. I hope that's clear to us. Hindi ito ang ating tunay na bahay. Dito tayo, hindi ito, hindi ito atong tinuwala po yan. We're just passing through. We're foreigners and strangers on the earth. But when Jesus Christ comes back, the fullness of His salvation and victory will be yours and mine. Dumatandaan na po ako and some of you, I am you know, beginning to feel, a little, I, I, I'm I very healthy by the grace of God, pero yung strength level ko not, not as good as before and I'm, I'm ministering more and more to people na may cancer, may ganon-ganon. I tell you, malupit ang sakit, malupit ang mundo. Okay, mahirap ang buhay. Okay, pero may Jesus na babagawin lahat yan. Amen? Starting sa bundong ito at kung hindi kayang, anong hindi kayang o hindi willing ang tao magbago or whatever, then in heaven, in the fullness of salvation, we'll experience them. I'd like to give you a glimpse of your glorious future. Makinig ka, okay? Let's, let's show this on the screen. This is the future for the people of God. Revelation 21, 1 to 5. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. God will make things, all things new. For the verse 7 and the first earth that passed away, the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, prepared as a bride adored for her husband. Grabe ang love involved dyan. God and us. Jesus and us. Verse 3, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be His people. God Himself will be with them and be their God. The Lord in His love will come to us and live with us. How, how beautiful. Verse 4, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death shall be no more. Neither shall be mourning, crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. Lahat ng mga bagay na yan, they will become past tense. Wala nang mamamatay. Wala nang iiyak. Wala nang depression. Wala nang broken families. Wala nang suicide. Wala nang maglalaslas. Okay, wala na lahat yan. By the grace of God. And then, and he, verse 5, He will sit on the throne as God the Father said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, He said, write this down, for these things are trustworthy and true. I'd like to encourage you, if you believe in Jesus as the Lord and Savior, and follow Him, live for Him, obey Him, yan ang future mo. I tell you, yan, hindi mo kayang bayaran yan. All through the history of civilization, men have tried to make utopia a perfect world. Lahat palpak. May United Nations, the world is even more disunited. Sometimes, sa storya, okay kay pag talikod, lahi diay. Okay? The point is, there's, our hope is not in this world. We are thankful for the United Nations and others, but we know our hope is ultimately in the Lord. And God will make all things new. And 
ang foundation an nagsugod to na na established to na pondar to through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Jesus died and rose again. Therefore, you and I can be saved, forgiven, restored, and have a great and glorious future. And everyone said, "Amen." Palapakan natin si Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Salamat, Lord. So the message of the Lord uh, for you and me today is entitled, Because Jesus Died and Rose from the Grave. Because Jesus Died and Rose from the Grave. So itong Holy Week na ito, grabe ito na season, amazing, amazing. The high point of, of the true biblical faith is not Christmas, though how it's fun, but it is the resurrection, the Holy Week, the resurrection of Jesus. So we, let's talk about this today. 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verse 1 to 8 talks about this. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel, you are saved if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Like, can we pause there? You know, hold firmly. Firmly, okay, you are saved if you hold firmly. Okay, please, yung salvation point is not like a, an insurance policy. Na after mo siya nabili, kalimutan mo na, abos kung may masunog or whatever, covered ka pa rin. Okay, pero sa ating Christian life, God's commitment is like that. Walang problema kay God. Ganon talaga. Pero tayo, if we don't hold firmly, in fact, we let go or we throw it away. And we know it's possible to throw away yung faith mo kay Jesus, then you cannot be saved. Okay? We're not saying may problema kay God. Walang problema kay God. Tayo may problema. Iniwan natin siya. Binaliwala natin yung salvation natin sa Kanya. So, hold firmly. Tell someone, hold firmly. Okay, let's carry on. And then, um, verse 3, For what I receive, I pass on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that He was buried, and that He was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that He appeared to Cephas into the Twelve, after that He appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Okay? So the point is, Jesus died kasi kailangan natin mapatawad. He died as our substitute, our voluntary substitute. Hindi man natin kayang mapatawad kasi kahit pa anong ubo, maubos ang dugo natin, marumi man ang dugo natin, hindi pinihugasan atong sala. Kinahanglan ng gamiton nga dugo, panghugas atong sala, balaan nga dugo. Dili makasasala nga dugo. Amen? Jesus died in your place as your substitute, as my substitute, so we can be forgiven. And He rose again as the Father's declaration that His sacrifice has been accepted forever and therefore man can be transformed and can be reconciled to God. Amen. All right, there are unbelievable blessings that come because Jesus died and rose from the grave. Grabe ang mga blessing gihatag ni Lord sa toa. They apply here and now. They apply uh, also in the future. And more especially for the future, okay? Don't have a short-sighted earthly mentality kaya nga. Dili mo ma-realize that the future is the greater blessing. Amen? Na dito ang greater blessing. So let's read uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, 3 onwards. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, kaluwis sa gino, He has given us new birth into a living hope. Say living hope. Okay, let's be positive. Maraming mga false hope, dead hope. Paasa lang. <laughs> wala kang, wala kang expect dyan. Okay? Dead hope. But our hope in Jesus is a living hope. Yung totoo na hope. Yung totoo na may, may kayang ibigay sa atin. Okay? A living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So yun ang foundation stone, the resurrection of Jesus. And into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. Say heaven. Okay, now I know some of you will think, oh, well, I want earth, I don't want something, you know, parang in the future. But you know, this world, kahit paanong gawin natin na i-improve ito, it's not gonna happen. People will always be weak. There will be selfishness and so on. So yung heaven is our home and our hope. And that's where we will enjoy so many things forever. Verse 5, who through faith are shielded or protected by God's power until the salvation, the coming of the salvation 
that is ready to be revealed in the last time. Okay, and so anyway, let's spot this end there and for that part and say, ito, to, ito po, tandaan po natin, ha? because Jesus died and rose again, by living hope tayo for this life, may living hope tayo for the future, and I tell you, walang makabigay sa atin yan kahit sino pa man. Amen? We even say, parents, they're great. They're amazing. Good friends, they're great. They're amazing. But you know, they do not live forever. Mamamatay sila. Some of your best friends, mag-aabroad yan, mag-asawa na, doon na pupunta sa malayo. Wala na. They cannot be with you forever. But Jesus is your friend forever and your Savior forever. I tell you. And that's amazing. Sige, palapakan natin si Lord. Thank you, God. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory. Say victory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Salamat sa Panginoon. Binibigyan tayo ng katagumpayan sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Through Jesus, we have the victory. Demons will bow. If not in this earth, in eternity. Sickness will bow. Even death will bow to the authority of Jesus because He is the resurrected King, the resurrected Lord. But the good thing is, hindi lahat reserved for the future. Ngayon pa, meron na tayong tiyatawag na foretaste. We can begin to experience some of these things. And by the grace of God, we can experience that more and more. By faith in the Lord, we can activate that. And so it becomes more and more real in our lives. We had a revival healing and deliverance conference the, uh, the other Saturday. And after after that, we began to hear more stories. Someone asked, asked me to pray for her, and I prayed, and then nag-PM siya. Uh, but this, based on kanyang test, maganda ang lumabas. Wala daw siyang ganito, wala daw siyang ganyan. So praise God. I don't know what happened, but she's okay. And I'm happy, <laughs> whatever. So the point, and there's so many other stories. The point is, we have a living Savior who can do great things for us. We have a great hope in the Lord. Amen. There was a third century man who was anticipating death. And be, as he was anticipating that he was going to die, uh, his life would be taken from him, he penned these last words to a friend. And I quote, these are his words, quote, It's a bad world, an incredibly bad world. But I have discovered in the midst of it a quiet and holy people who have learned a great secret. They have found a joy which is a thousand times better than any pleasure of our sinful life. They are despised and persecuted, but they care not. They're not, they're not worried. They're not shaken. They are masters of their souls. They have overcome the world. These people are the Christians, and I am one of them. Sabi niya, in this bad world, in this broken world, may mga taong may pag sa buhay. Hindi sila na limit Natali, na depressed dahil sa mga sitwasyon sa mundo o ginagawa ng masasamang tao. They are victorious because they have a living hope. I pray this living hope will be true in your life. I pray that this Resurrection Sunday may mabuhay sa loob mo, may experience natin ito. I want to just emphasize, like in any truth in the Bible, they are meant not just to increase our head knowledge, they are meant to increase our experience at the blessedness of what it means to belong to the Lord. Amen? Hindi lang ito paramihan ng alam. <laughs> okay? Otherwise, magaling pa yung mga ibang pilosopo sa atin. Wala tayong kalaban-laban sa kanila. Okay? But the Lord is telling us that we can increase in our experience and by the grace of God, we will. Amen? The Lord wants you to experience the blessings of the death and resurrection of Jesus. So, maraming blessing at gusto ni Lord may experience mo ang blessings ng death and resurrection in Jesus, okay? God, the Bible says, does not show favoritism. Hindi si Lord titingin ng mga tao na sabi niya, ganahan ko niya. Ay, wag ko ganahan sa nawangan. Ay, ganahan ko. Ay, ganahan. Hindi si Lord pumipili. Lahat tayo love ni Lord. Love ka ni Lord. Love ka. Lahat tayo gusto ng i-bless ni Lord. Amen? So the Lord wants us all to enjoy uh, the, the blessings of the death and resurrection of Jesus. John 10, 10, Jesus said, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, referring to Satan in the kingdom of darkness. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Hindi mo sabihin lahat tayo magdadrive ng you know, sobrang pinakamahal na mga kotse or whatever, it simply means that we will have joy and peace and righteousness and a great future. And in the meantime, we have, you know, yung uh, measures of, of provision and other things. Enjoy tayo dito. But that is a gift from the Lord because Jesus died and rose again. I pray na may experience natin yan more and more. 
Uh, there was a, a little boy who lived in the late 1800s in the United States, in the rural uh, parts. 12 years old na siya, pero wala pa sa kakatikita o circus. Now, na I announced mo sa ilang school that a uh, traveling circus was going to the next village on the following Saturday. So, pag uli na silang balay ko niya, Tay, Tay, Lai, Circus, Tay. Tay, pwede magtanaw ko, Tay, palihog lang. Inang, sila, pobre sila. Pero, kamalo yung papa, importante sa iya. Ingo na yung papa, okay. Yung mga trabaho, assignments mo, buhatan na tanan. And then, maningkamot ko na magkakwarta, makatanaw kag circus. Saturday morning came, sa'yo pa kaayong humana ang bata. Nagdamit na siya ng maayos. Ready. Nakuha ang tatay niya ng one dollar. In the late 1800s, masyadong malaki din yung one dollar. Wa, pag yun ka gunit, tawan ka ng bata, anak ka dako. Okay, and then, sabi niya, ingat ka anak. And that, that child went, nagbagtas na sila. I assume, may kasama siya. And then, on the border with the next village, nasa lubong na na yung parade ng circus. Yung mga hayop na, tiger ba, whatever, nandyan, nakatago. Tapos may mga, may mga drums, may mga, mga, yung mga trumpets, tapos may mga dancers, may mga flags. Mga, basta the usual fun and joy of a parade. Tapos behind them, that the last was the clown. Baggy pants, floppy shoes, painted face. Okay, enjoy, enjoy na bata. Tapos pagdaan ng, pagdaan ng clown, kinuha na yung mandala, inabot niya. Tapos italikot siya, niuli siya. Now, that is a very sad story. Bakit sad story? Kasi ang naranasan lang niya, yung parade. Yung circus, hindi niya napanood. Hindi niya na-enjoy. Yung one dollar niya, sakto yon pang circus. Hindi yon kulang na pang parade lang. Pero sa iyang pagka-ignorante, wala sa kabalo, Gibayad niya talang. Hindi talay ko na sa abin niya, taman dito lang ang iyang kwarta. Alam niyo po, i-apply natin to sa Christian life. Jesus purchased a great salvation for you and for me. Yet for so many of us, content na tayo sa introduction pa lang, kulang pa lang. Kakaol lang ko gamay, gamay lang nga victory, usahay lang ko, you know, ma-bless, pwede na, gamay lang nga breakthrough sa ministry, you know, ako pamilya, gubot kaya, pero usahay na, you know, peace, peace gamay, okay na na siya, etc. Contento na kayo sa gamay. I tell you, by the grace of God, the Lord wants you today, itaas mo ang standard mo, itaas mo ang level of expectation mo, kasi sobrang laki ng blessing na Pinurchase ni Jesus through His blood. He died for you so that you can have a truly abundant life. Amen. Huwag kang makontenta na, okay lang, madepress. At least, papunta ko ng langit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Batukan mo akong gano'n. <laughs> Sobra ka naman. Grab ka, baba naman. <laughs> okay lang na. Ano? Eh, hindi yan okay. Okay. The Lord wants you to have Joy, peace, righteousness, and then go to heaven as well. Amen? Tinan mo yung katabi mo kung contento na ba yan sa bragikulata sa panuway. Amen? Di dapat makontento. Amen? Tabi mo katabi mo, di dapat makontento. Amen? Kabila, sabihin mo, huwag ka makontento. Amen? The Lord wants you and me to level up in our experience of our Christian lives. Victory, blessing, joy, health, etc. It's not going to be perfect. But at least, kakaon kag sakto, kaskwila og sakto, na kay balay, gagro ka kang Lord, ay mong pamilya, dili perfect, pero okay ang dagan, ay mong ministry, dili put perfect, pero gagro, yun ang gusto natin, okay? Dili ka nang, ginakulata lang ko sa yawa every other day. <laughs> okay, ang sama ng sistema ni mo. Okay, say, maglasas-laslas po ko, okay. Hopeless na kayo feeling na ako. Ay, anong klase? Hindi yan ang blessing ng victory ni Jesus. Amen? Today, may the Lord give you hope. And even those joining us in our online family, may the Lord give you hope. The Lord bless you as you open your heart in faith to Him. Amen. Pero palapakan natin muna si Lord. Thank you, God. Okay, amazing blessings because Jesus died and rose from the grave. And there are so many, but for the sake of time, let's look at only four. Uh, kasi, otherwise, we, can, we will have to stay here forever. So, apat lang, okay? Four amazing blessings among so many because Jesus died and rose from the grave. So, number one is peace with God. Peace with God. Alam niyo po, ang totoo lang, ang ating pinaka-problema, hindi yung, 
Hindi, hindi, hindi kasing sarap ang pagkain na rin sa pagkain ng iba. Hindi kasing ganda ang cellphone na sa cellphone ng iba. Hindi kasing branded ang suot natin sa suot ng iba. Hindi yan ang pinakamalaking problema natin. Okay? Ang pinakamalaking problema natin, separated tayo kay God because God is holy and we're sinful. Yan ang pinakaproblema na. Because whether we like it or not, in this creation, the most important being is God. Kung bagsak ka sa Kanya, bagsak ka talaga. Parang sa isang kumpanya, kung bagsak ka kay owner, CEO, medyo malaki yung problema mo. <laughs> Kasi hindi mo sa pwedeng iwasan dahil siya ang may-ari. Amen? Parang ganon. So, peace with God is possible because Jesus died and rose again. Namatay siya para bayaran kasalan natin. Nabuhay siya as a declaration by the Father na tayo ay totoong napatawad. Tayo ay totoong uh, pwedeng mabago. Tayo ay totoong uh, pwedeng maayos ang ating mga buhay. The eternal Son of God became uh, like us, died and rose again so we can be uh, forgiven and have peace with God. Colossians 1.21 Once you were alienated or separated from God and were enemies because of your evil behavior, but now He has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death. Yun po ang importante na nangyari. It's a foundational thing. Yang pera, yang mga sikat, sisikat tayo, whatever, secondary lahat. Yung importante, nabalik na sa tama ang relasyon sa gino. Amen? Peace with God. Peace with the judge. Peace with the most important one. Yun ang pinaka-importante. We become united, reconciled with the Father. Yun po ang importante. And it's made possible because Jesus died and rose again and He gives the salvation to us as we trust Him and surrender our lives to Him. Romans 5.1 Therefore, since we have been justified, justified means declared righteous through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so yun po ang blessing Natin. And I pray, kung hindi mo pa ito na-experience, ito ang dapat hindi mo ma-miss. If you're joining us on-site, online, this is something you should not miss. That reconciliation with God. It's a gift from the Lord. It's a declaration. Justified is a legal declaration. Ginagamit sa law courts ng first century in the Roman Empire. To be justified means to be declared innocent, not guilty. Okay. Not because you are perfect, but because kahit may kasalanan ka, binayaran na ni Jesus. Therefore, sa mata ng balaod, sa mata ng balaod ni Lord, you are clean, you are innocent, you are forgiven, and you are righteous. Amen. And that's made possible because of Jesus. Amen. Number two is inner peace because, oh sorry, in spite of problems and losses. So because we are related to God properly, we have the acceptance of God through faith in Jesus, then we can have the subjective experiences of peace. The objective experience ang pinakauna dapat, the vertical. And then the internal and the horizontal, peace with people, peace with ourselves. Maranasan natin yan with we have peace with God. Pero very important ito, God gives us that through the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, Present your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So dito sa mundo may problema. Hindi na maubos-ubos ang problema. Kanina nga, I was telling Pastor, sabi ko, di ba may natira na bridge sa Maryland, sa U.S.? Meron na naman ngayon na bangga ng bard sa, sa Oklahoma. <laughs> Sino sa Java ito? Ano akin naman? <laughs> parang masyadong magkasunod. But I don't know. It, it could have been an action. But the point is, parang endless yung problema ng mundo, right? The, so the point, but the point is, kahit anong mangyari, okay, we have victory, we have peace because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Bayaan mo sila, guloy na ng mundo. Kung okay ka sa loob, okay ka lang. Kaya mo yan. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There is a hymn, a Christian hymn that, that made so much impact to so many people. I still cry once in a while when I sing that because it's just so powerful. It is entitled, It Is Well With My Soul. Sino ang familiar nun? It is well, it is well with my soul. Okay, napakaganda, very comforting. And let me tell you the true story of how uh, the, 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 the hymn was, uh, was written. Let me see if I have the date here. 
Wala akong date, okay? But anyway, let me tell you the story. So, si Horatia Spofford was a businessman in Chicago, in the States. Okay, one time he sent his family, his wife and three daughters, on a ship to Europe, and he was to follow after. On that, on that uh, voyage, nagkaroon ng masyadong malakas na storm, nagkaroon ng shipwreck, namatay ang kanyang tatlong anak na babae, buhay ang kanyang asawa. When, the, when his wife reached uh, the Europe, his wife, you know, sent a communication saying, our daughters are dead. I survived, but our three daughters are dead. So Horatio took the next ship available on the way to Europe to catch up with his wife. On that, on that uh, uh, voyage, the captain stopped or at least slow down those apart where the ship, the previous ship where the three daughters died, sank. And the captain pointed to him, perhaps knew his story, and said, this is where the ship sank. This is where your daughters died. And then on that ship, Horatio Spafford wrote the words of that hymn. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. I tell you, yung ganon, di kaya yan ng, ano, di kaya ng yan, yung mga inspirational talk lang or whatever. Hindi kaya yan ng kung ano-ano lang di kaya. Kailangan mo yan, meron kang faith in someone superior, someone who of great power, greater power, to, you know, to hold your life so that it does not break down. And see, Horatio Spafford had faith in God. So in the midst of a great tragedy, it is well with my soul. I'm okay. I'm okay. Kaya ko to. Kaya ko to. Kaya ko to. Why? Because of the Lord who loves me, who takes care of me, who gives me hope for a bright future. Babangon pa ako. I will still have a beautiful life, a beautiful future because of the Lord. Because Jesus died and rose again, He makes it possible for you and for me to have peace in our hearts. I pray sa buhay mo ngayon, magkaroon ka niyan. Kung depressed ka ngayon, feeling hopeless ka ngayon, you know, may mga iba ngayon, they don't wear short sleeves because they don't want people to see mga scars, nakadalang last, 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 or whatever. If you have that, I want to say to you, there's inner peace that's available for you. Merong pag kay Lord. Merong peace gagaling kay Lord. Di mo kailangan saktan ng sarili mo, sirain ng sarili mo, ibigay ang buhay mo sa masamang mga bagay, sa masamang mga, you know, activities. You follow the Lord, trust God, and He will give you that inner peace. And everyone said, Amen. Number three, blessing, amazing blessing is the chance for new beginnings. The chance for new beginnings. Our time is running very fast, so let me just go straight to the point. Alam mo, because he just died and rose again, you can start again. Pwede kang magsimula ulit. Kung saan man nasira ang buhay mo. Kung saan man may mga bagay na nakakahiya, may mga bagay na hindi karapat dapat, the Lord can change those things because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, sa Microsoft Windows, meron pong feature na system restore. So for example, if this morning nag-crash ang computer mo, but you have very important files there, you can set the date, for example, as of yesterday, March 30, and hit system restore, and babalik yung iyong computer as of perfect siya, as of March 30. So yung nawala, wala ka nang, yung masira, wala ka nang magawa doon. Pero yung mga files mo na, yung mga, whatever was in the computer as of March 30, pabalik, ayos lahat yun. System restore. Okay? Alam mo, si Lord can give you a system restore. Pwede mong balikan yung buhay mo at maayos yun with the help of God because Jesus died and rose again. By the way, if, not yet, if you've not yet been to the end for the Light Up Retreat, we invite you to come and join. Kasi as the people who invite you will tell you, it is so powerful. The grace of God is available to change you. Pwedeng ma-system restore ang buhay mo because Jesus made it possible through His death and resurrection. Amen. Um, uh, 1 John 1, nine. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Balik lang tayo ka Lord, patawarin tayo ni Lord, bigyan tayo ng bagong simula. Number four in the last, purpose for living. Can we have the musicians now? Purpose for living. Bigyan tayo ni Lord ng purpose sa buhay. 
Pagkisi natin hindi natin kailangan tubira ng drugs, inom ka agad ng alcohol para mabuhay, din kailangan ng mga maling ginagawa para lang maging exciting ang buhay natin. Meron excitement at totoong buhay kay Lord because Jesus died and rose again. Purpose for living. Manapakalago po nito. God gives that to us. First Peter 2.9 You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Meron kang purpose. Napakaganda ng identity mo. But you need to live for God and serve God. We are saved to serve, not saved by works, but saved to work. My gifts are not for me, they are for you. Your spiritual gifts or abilities are not for you, they are for me. If I'm not using my gifts, I deprive you. If you do not use your gifts, you rob the church. And the Lord is reminding us in 2 Timothy 2, 20 and 21. Let's jump to 21. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter, from sinful things, will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the master, prepared to do any good Work. Let me close with uh, a story and then we'll, we'll land this. Okay? In the States, like in other industrialized countries, they use lots and lots of wooden pallets. They use wooden pallets to transport goods. They use, in the US, they use millions of that. The wooden pallets, of course, is the one that's going to be used, the etc. So companies actually have to hire people to, to dispose those. Five dollars, minsan nang bayad nila per pallet para i-dispose. Gawing wood chips, ilabay dito sa mga, mga landfill and so on. But the New York Times came up with a story about a, com- a non-profit company called Big City Forest. And what they do is they turn junk into treasure. Kasi yung raw materials ng wooden pallets, those are hardwoods. Usually oak, maple, cherry, mahogany, those kinds of things. Okay, rosewood. And so they dismantled the pallets, salvaged the usable wood, recycled it into furniture and flooring. Kung wood chips lang, $30 per ton lang, it says 1,680 pesos on a 1 to 56 exchange rate. Pero kung gawin for flooring, i-recycle for flooring, magiging $1,200 per ton or 67,200. Pero kung gawin furniture, magiging 6,000 per ton or 336,000 pesos. Yung lifeless, useless na mga bagay pwedeng ma-restore pwedeng magkaroon ng value pwedeng magkaroon ng pulos kung baga maging work of beauty and usefulness kung meron lang bibigay ng atensyon para baguhin ito yung buhay mo at buhay ko by the grace of God inaayos ni Lord so that we can have a purpose for life Mabuhay tayo na may excitement sa buhay. Mabuhay tayo na may inspiration sa buhay. Hindi din kailangan ng ganito at ganyan para lang tayo maging alive. Now we have the resurrection of Jesus that fills us with a purpose for living. And if we run and do the will of God, we will be happy, fulfilled, satisfied sa atin pong mga buhay. Amen? As we wrap up, we'll pray in a very short while. I want to say to you, because Jesus died and rose again. Grabe, grabe, grabe blessing ang dumating sa iyo at sa akin. Let's believe it. Let's embrace it. Let's appropriate it by faith and obedience. Kasi tatoo lang when you gave your life to Jesus because He is a risen King. Talagang nasortihan ka ng gusto. Talagang grabing blessing ang dumating sa buhay mo. Hallelujah! Jesus is a resurrected Savior. Let's trust Him, obey Him, and live for Him and celebrate and enjoy the life that He gives to us. Amen? Palapakan po natin si Lord. Thank you, God. Sige, tumayo po tayo and in the next four minutes we'll pray together. Can you close your eyes? Can you raise your hands? Para hindi ka ma-distracted sa palibot mo and those joining us online, pray with us as well. Come on, let's all pray together. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for your great love. We thank you, Lord God, for your great power. Jesus, thank you for voluntarily dying for us. And Father in heaven, thank you for raising Jesus from the dead so we can be forgiven, we can be restored. Lord, we can live for you. So God, we pray today, help us, Lord, help us. Salamat, Lord God. Today, kung ano man yung imposible, yung sira sa buhay mo, sabihin mo kay Lord, at i-appropriate mo, ang kinin mo, ang victory ni Jesus. Come on, speak over your negative situations, the victory of Jesus on the cross. Come on, whatever it is, sakit, kawan broken family, other things, failure, 
speak the words of Jesus' victory. Come on, declare it now. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over sin. I declare oh, victory over bondage. I declare victory over depression. I declare healing and restoration sa aking family. I declare sa aking buhay may reversal ng mga bagit na bagay. In the name of Jesus, financial restoration. In the name of Jesus, spiritual fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, blessing, blessing from the Lord. So God, release Lord your blessing. Release your victory, God. Release your resurrection power. In the name of Jesus, may pag-asa ka pa. May pag-asa ka pa, says the Lord. Come on, believe in God. Declare the victory of Christ in your life. Kung sabit mo yung imposible, yung sira sa buhay mo, and declare the victory, the resurrection power of Jesus. Lord, salamat ka. We declare your victory, God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, keep praying. Keep praying. Padayon pag ang pa. to talk to those who have not yet surrendered their lives to the Lord. Kung nandito ka ngayon on-site, joining us online, hindi pa nabigay ang buhay mo kay Jesus. Surrender mo ang buhay mo sa Kanya. Ito ang pinaka-importante. It is the greatest miracle. It is the greatest victory to surrender your life to God. Tell the Lord today, Lord, kailangan kita. Makasalanan ako. Patawarin mo ako, Panginoon. Jesus, come into my life. I receive you into my life. I trust in you, Jesus. Pasailo ako, Gino, kitawat ang hakaroon. Jesus. Pasailo ako, pagkuha ko by the power of the Lord. So Lord, we pray, heal and restore and bless your people, God. We pray, salamat Lord, salamat Lord.